Hi, I'm Michael Brown, a beauty expert for Rescue TV, and I'm here today to show you some really cool ways to get some products that are multi-use. We don't really need 15,000 items in our makeup bag. I'm going to use three to four products today to show you a really nice, easy look, giving uh, shape, colour, and a bit of contour as well. First of all is your trusty bronzer. Everyone has a bronzer, and it can be used in more than one way. First of all, big dust, big brush, and using it as an all over face glow. Starting in the central areas of the face, like the forehead, the nose, the cheek, and you can see slowly the skin tone warming up, giving cover. We always start from the centre, so it's exactly as if you've been lying in the sun all day. Beautiful. Now we can change brush and go to a smaller brush. And I'm gonna use it as a contour. So if you turn to the side, starting from here, going to the mouth, we place the colour under the cheekbone. What this does, the, the depth of the colour and the more matte the colour is, it actually kind of tucks under the skin, lifts the bone and gives shape. So if you look forward, we should be able to see one's more flat and one's quite sculpted. Okay? We can also use that on the temple area. Later on we'll add some eye makeup and that means by pushing this area backwards, that area into the bone, the eye comes out. So it's a great way to structure the face. Let's see the other side quickly. I always sweep downwards rather than going back up. Otherwise you'll get too much colour at the front of the face and there'll be so much bronze starting here which isn't really good. It might look too dirty and muddy looking, which I'm sure we don't want to have that. Beautiful. And now we match both sides. The last one with the bronzer is an eyeshadow. Even though we, we know it's for the face, it can be used on the eye as well. It's great for a like, sculpting look. So if you just uh, close, I'm just going to use the tip of my brush and very lightly work it across the entire socket as a wash. Don't worry about being so intricate in detail because the bristles will naturally uh, sweep across the bones. So if I just do one side and you open for me, you should be able to see there's a little bit of depth in that area there, lifting the eye slightly, whereas that side, there's no depth. So the eye can look a little bit smaller in that case. Let's see it again. Close. A very natural sweep, only using the tip. So my best brush to use for this application is definitely an angled brush. So you get the finest point onto that area. Beautiful. So one product, we've given shape on the eyes, we've given the skin a glow, and we've also lifted cheekbones as well and sculpted.